Site vocabulary acquisition is an important building block in the construction of a child's ability to read. If a child is always saying he didn't understand what he is reading, or he's always having a hard time in decoding the meaning of a particular word, that child might have sight vocabulary difficulty. In order to help your students, here are seven steps in correcting basic sight vocabulary deficit. In a few moments, you will see a video discussion on how I implement these seven steps in our class. Take note, my learners in this video are adults. Hence, I did modify some of the words and games to make it appropriate to the level. Some of the tasks were also changed to make it suited to the new learning environment. Step 1. Have the students trace the word, write it on paper, or use chalk or magic slates. Alright, good afternoon everyone. Welcome to my class. Last session, we read a story and I gave you an activity to write down all the words you unfamiliar words you encounter or words that you're not sure about their meaning and this is what i've chosen i've only uh, chosen four of them let's have the next slide okay these are some of the words you've written if you're listed down um first word is abysmal Next is adapt, next is adapt and diminish. Now, for you to familiarize with these words, let's just first try to trace each word. And I think I've pasted already here in Google Meet chat box the link, so you may now start tracing each word, okay? Who's writing on the left side? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, Gian is writing on the left side while Daniel is on the other side. That's good. Just take your time. All right, I think both of you are done. Great job. Step two, have the students repeat the word each time it is written. Now, I believe by doing that activity, you can now familiarize yourselves with the spelling of each word. And now, what I want you to do is, I want you to pronounce each word how many times it is written in this slide for example the word abysmal is written four times so you have to pronounce this word four times so before you go i'll go first okay so you don't know how to pronounce each word abysmal 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 adapt 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 diminish 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 did you get that Yes, ma'am. All right. So let's have Daniel first. Please read each words that you can see. Um, abysmal, 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 abysmal. Adapt, 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 adapt. Diminish, 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 diminish. Okay, very good. Let's have Gian. Abysmal, 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 abysmal. Adapt, 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 adapt. Diminish, 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 diminish. All right, great job. Step three, have the students write the word without looking at the flashcard, then compare the two. Now it is your turn. Try to write all of the four words. You may use the Google Meet chat box to type each word without looking at the previous slides. Huh? Do not use, do not check your dictionary. Just write all of the words based on what you've done earlier. The practice, the written practice, and the pronunciation. All right, they are now starting writing the words. Let me just check it.
All right, so far so good. Both both of you got the correct um spelling of each word. Very good. Step 4. Create study buddies. Match learners in a classroom with fellow students who have mastered the words. Take time to teach the tutors how to reinforce new words. Provide a big reward to both tutor and learner once the learner has attained the goal. Okay, now it is time for your activity. Your activity today is study bodies. Um, Dania, would you please read the sentence on the right side? I believe it is on the right side. Um, aside from teachers, you can learn from your classmates too. Okay, so it kind of give a glimpse of what this activity is, study bodies. So let's have the next slide to further explain this. Okay, I will be assigning one of you to become a tutor and the other one is a learner. So in this case, in this um, class, I want GN to become the tutor and Daniel to become the learner. Did you get that? Is it okay? Yes, ma'am. How about Jian? Yes, ma'am. Okay, that's good to hear. Now, for tutor, um, these are some techniques uh, you may use to help the learner. So in reinforcing new words, you can use context clues. I believe I've discussed this in the past meetings. And you can also help Daniel to analyze the word formation because it's kind, it kind of helps the learner to decode the meaning of an, of, of an unfamiliar word. So it's like um, analyzing prefixes, suffixes, and the likes. And you can also contextualize each new words learned by using in a sentence, sentence, okay. It is um, helpful to con contextualize the new words that we've learned and use it immediately so it, so it will retain in our minds, okay. And for the last, you can also share to your learner your own strategies in reinforcing new words like do you have any specific or special strategies that you do in order to find out the meaning of a familiar word so things like that you can share it to your learner did you get that Jian? yes okay now for the task of the learner daniel for you to learn new words, you may ask questions to your tutor if there are points that confuses, confuses you. Um, asking for questions is very important so you, you will not get confused with other points and get some, um, how do you say this, bad um, interpretation of a certain passage. You may also share your knowledge about learning new words and also you need to cooperate with your tutor. Is, is that okay, Daniel? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, that's good to hear. So you may um, um, help each other while doing some games that I, I will give to you later okay if both of you got a perfect score i will give you a prize okay so you have to really help each other what kind of prize mm, i might exempt you to the third quiz that we will be having next meeting or next week so good luck okay let's have the games step five Provide reinforcement games for students to use on their own or with their study buddies. Games may be open-ended game boards or developed by levels according to the sublists. Are you guys ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, for your first activity, you may help each other, huh? Give a five-letter word that would describe yourself. Okay, this task is worth of two points. I'll give you time. Okay. 
if you have come up with the answer, you may just let me know. You may use your microphone. All right, Daniel answered jolly. Let's check if it's a, if it is a five letter word. J O L L Y. Correct. So he sees himself as a jolly person. How about you, GN? Angry. Why? <laughs> so um I believe um GN is not having a great time today. So that's how he sees himself. Okay, let's accept that. Let's have the next game. Now, this is kind of hard, but I believe you would benefit from this, okay? Share at least two words you think your partner didn't know and explain what do these words mean. And your partner should be able to use the words in sentences. So this task is worth of five, five points. So for example... I'm going to share to you the word um, prosperous and like abysmal. So you explain to your partner what do these words mean. And your partner should be able to give some sentences based on the meaning you've, get, you've given to them. Okay? I will be giving you enough time to do this. You may also do this while I'm not around. It, can, it will help you to widen your vocabulary. Okay, just let me know if you already had the answers. Daniel, how is it going? It's fine, ma'am. I'm giving examples. Okay, okay. That's good to hear. I think we're done with it. Sorry? We're done up. Okay. Um, do you want to start first, Daniel? Okay. If you want to start with the FNS, the FNS trait and the best trait. What is it again? The FNS? Can you please okay. type in? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, Daniel, um, could you use those words in two sentences? Yes, ma'am. Um, we decided to definitely the student council president when we realized that she is not doing her job. Mm, that is harsh. <laughs> I believe Jean is really angry today. So definite shape. So that's a new word that I've learned today. How about devastate? Is it right? Devastate, Daniel? Yes, po. Devastate naman po. Um, the city was devastated by a huge earthquake. Okay, very good. I, I believe... Um, let's ask Gian. Did Daniel use the words correctly? To some extent. To some extent. Um... Mm, how would you use defenestrate? Is that defenestrate? Defenestrate, yeah. Defenestrate in a sentence if you were given a chance. It is really useful, but it is, uh, it is used in the context of throwing someone or something out of the window. Like, for example, if you, if you watch uh, certain series, uh, for example, Brown was demonstrated out of the window by Jamie Lannister. That's an example. Okay. So, um, so it's kind of used in that context, no? Yeah, pushing someone out of the window. Okay. So did you get that, Daniel? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So your tutor is sharing some of the words he knows. Okay, that's how GN. What are the two words <clears throat> Daniel shared to you? Daniel shared to me the words opportunity and rendezvous. Opportunity, a set of circumstances allows us to do something and rendezvous, a meeting point, a meeting place. Okay, let's hear your sentences. I was given the opportunity to create my own sentences here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really like that. That's uh, very contextualized. 
it is really the appropriate. Two, the two groups met at their chosen rendezvous point near the oak tree. All right, so the two words I've learned are <clears throat> opportunity and rendezvous. Is that correct? Opportunity and rendezvous. Okay, thank you. All right, very good. I'll give the both of you five points. Okay, let's have the last game, I believe. Okay, name things as many as you can. For example, this is this game is called Picture Dictionary. So it, it will help you widen your vocabulary. And um, it's kind of different because you were presented or you were showed some pictures to help you understand some words. For example, <clears throat> um, can you see the picture of grape? Grapes? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so it is called a bunch, a bunch of grapes. So um, I'll give you some time to just to let, say, just to give your answers as you see those pictures for example the first picture is 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 a mug next is cup next is just try to answer it okay there's a point okay hello okay who wants to try first do you want jian to try first do I have to name all of them or only this which is it? Up until to the last, just the first row. Okay. I think the first row contains a mug of coffee, two cups, I don't know what's inside the cups, and a pint. And it's also a jug. Is that honey? I don't know. I think it's honey. And a tin can, it's empty. Yeah, to check your answers. Actually, um, all of your answers are correct, but but I think this picture try to is specifically wants you to name how these things are called collectively, like a bunch of grapes, a pack of gums or gums is it really a gum, and a roll of tissue, a package, bags of I think sugar. Bottles, spray can. Uh, yeah, I think I've heard that earlier. A tray of, yeah, piece of cheese, a bar of soap. So things like that. You can check your answers. Okay. Step six, provide charts, graphs, and other devices for students to display their progress. These serve as excellent motivators, especially since students are competing with themselves rather than each other scores okay in the previous activities daniel got 13 and for his second activity he got 12 and now i've already edited that just today both of you i give i gave both of you a perfect score so there so total as of today both of you got on 35 points. So don't worry, we, we will still have activities four and five. So that's, you can, um, so your points will add more pa, okay? As of today, your, your ranking, both of you are in a sa satisfactory, okay? So since you both of you got the perfect score, so you will be exempted for the quiz next meeting. Okay. Step seven, use your imagination. Have students dramatize phrases, build a sight word cave, practice words while lining up, read sight word plays, etc. Leon, will you please read the second, first and second bullets? Search for other phrases to say how are you and list, list all the words synonymous to this reaction. The teacher will demonstrate the reaction. Okay, for your first 
task, search for other phrases to say, how are you? You can search, yeah, you can search the internet or you can ask some other people if they have, if they know some other phrases aside from how are you? For example, um, I believe how is it going is also another way to say, how are you? Okay, so thanks, uh, Things like that. So I believe Gian typed in some of his suggestions. He said, nice day for fishing, ain't it? <laughs> so that's his example. So you may search something like that. So for the next task, list all the words synonymous to this reaction. The teacher will demonstrate the reaction. What reaction? I will demonstrate it. Okay, try to figure out this reaction. I will be demoing it in three, two, one. What kind of reaction is that? Can you guess? <laughs> Surprise. Surprise. What? <laughs> Surprise. Yeah, it is correct. The home alone reaction, I believe. Um the character also has the same reaction. Surprise. So, list all the words synonymous to the, to the word surprised, okay? Now, for the last task, I want you to record yourself doing the opposite meaning of the reaction I demonstrated. So, again, the reaction that I demonstrated is surprised. So, the opposite, for example, the opposite meaning of it is like indifference, showing no reaction or you do not care so how will you so to express that you have to record yourself and we'll be uh, presenting that to the class next meeting okay are the tasks clear for you do you have any questions no, no. how about you Jian? not so far Okay, if that's the case, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed today's session. And just try to read and so that your vocabulary will widen more and it will improve. Okay, thank you very much. Bye. That's it. I hope this video was helpful to those aspiring teachers like us and practicing teachers who aren't familiar with these steps. Thank you very much for watching.